Hey there, what's going on? This is Chris Badgett from Lifter LMS, and I just wanted to take you on a quick tour of the new Lifter LMS Advanced Quiz System. So here I am on a website with Lifter LMS installed. Uh, I'm actually gonna switch to another browser where I am uh, not, I haven't purchased the course yet. So I'm gonna jump into this course, and I'm actually gonna go through this free access plan, and I'm gonna create a fake user here. and I'm gonna enroll so now I'm inside this course and I know this first lesson here has a quiz on it so we're gonna take a look at it and we're gonna take this quiz I'm gonna start the quiz what is the best WordPress LMS system, that's Lifter LMS. So this is a simple multiple choice quiz question. This is picture choice, which is a mountain. Uh, this is a true false statement. The Lifter LMS community is awesome. We've got some additional information here showing where to go check it out, and that is true. Next question. This is a fill in the blank. Chris Badgett is 39 years old. That's me uh, by a big fig tree in Costa Rica. Uh, the online course creators that are most successful do things in this order. Um, so this is reorder items. Uh, this is uh, reorder images. This is a short answer. This one would require uh, manual grading. This is a long answer. I have to actually grab some uh, text here. So it's kind of like an essay that's going to be graded. This is a, um, a code question type. So I'm not going to actually start coding here, but uh, something like that. This is an upload question type. So uh, we will upload this image. You can see that uh, there were some file types that we set to be allowed for that particular upload. This is a uh, scale question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how are your results from taking this course? Number 10. Next question. And this is a multiple choice we didn't finish setting up in the back end, which we'll look at in a minute. But what color is the sky? It is blue. Complete quiz. All right. <clears throat> so there's our results. We don't have a grade yet because some of these questions need to be graded. And uh, this is, uh, so when we come back here, we'll have our grade after it's been graded. So now let's look at what it's like to actually create those questions in a quiz. So I'm back over on the same website, but this time I'm logged in as the WordPress admin. So I'm going to go to this course and I'm going to edit the course. And I'm going to launch <coughs> the builder over here, the course builder, and open it up. And inside this little symbol here means there's a quiz present, and I'm gonna go in here to actually edit the quiz. Now, here are those questions. You know, if I wanted to add more questions to that quiz, I would click that button, and here's everything I can add. Um, <clears throat> but let's just look at these quickly, um, the, all the different question types here. So I'm gonna expand this one. So this is multiple choice. What is the best WordPress LMS system? Uh, here's the point system over here. If I want to give this question more weight, this quiz is in fact published. Um, and uh, if I want to add additional content below the question, like a full on 
you know, editor area where I could add all kinds of stuff or just an image or a video I could. I could add more answers for people to choose from if I wanted to. This is how I select uh, which one is the correct answer. Um, you can also have multiple correct answers if, you know, like if you have a question like which three are presidents. It doesn't always have to be a one-to-one -one relationship. Um, and results clarification, that's where if they get the wrong answer on the summary, you might display some message to help them uh, give them a second shot or give them a hint to help improve their learning there. So that's multiple choice. And if we open up this one, we can see where we added um, three pictures. This one is actually the mountain. That's the correct answer. And, you know, if we wanted to add another image, we could do that. So that's picture choice. Um, same thing, we could have multiple correct answers. You know, if the question is which two are not mountains, we could do that. So I'm going to close that. Uh, the Lifter LMS community is awesome. This is a true false. So you can see over here um, how that works. And we could even read, uh, you know, relabel these to like yes, no, or something else if we wanted to. And uh, we did use that extra content area to uh, just put some extra content in, <clears throat> in this case. So that is true, false. We could also duplicate questions or clone them if we wanted to, and we can also trash them. So the next one is fill in the blank. So as we expand that out, um, you can see in this case, I did add an image to go with the question. Chris Badgett is blank years old. Um, we've got a little tool tip here so that you can add a short blank or a long blank. Uh, you can also just add blanks by using the underscore key on your keypad, which uh, looks like this to create blanks and change the length of the blanks. Um, and uh, in this case, we put in a correct answer, which means that uh, this question can be automatically graded. If you want it to be manually graded, just don't put any correct answers. And it's also very cool. You can put multiple um, blanks in a question if you want. If you do, like Chris Badgett is blank years old and blank days. Um, if I was 39 years old and 200 uh, days old, that's what, how I would um, do that with the pipe symbol. This is the, the pipe symbol is like a little vertical line. There's a key on your keypad um, for that. Uh, next question is the uh, reorder items. <clears throat> so you can see here, you put them in the correct order. It actually shuffles them. Uh, when it, you know, presents the screen to the student, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I could add another one if I wanted to, but, uh, basically you just put things in order. And in this case we were using the result clarification. So if somebody got, uh, this question wrong, they would get this message on that after they complete the, the quiz next to this question. So that is reorder items. The next one is reorder uh, images or picture order. So you can see here where we, here's the correct order of uh, the woman from youngest to oldest. And we shuffled it, you know, it was shuffled when we were taking it as a student experience. So that is reorder images. You know, we could add new ones if we wanted to. Uh, next question. is the short answer. So pretty straightforward. Here's the question. If you want to provide additional instructions or, um, you know, clarification on the question or additional information, you can do that. But that is a short answer that's going to be manually graded. Uh, right here, what is the meaning of life? This is our long answer. Um, you can have a minimum and maximum required word count if you wanted to, or you could just use one of those restrictions if you wanted to, or you could leave it open. So that is a long answer requiring manual grading. Uh, here is the code question type. So uh, you can ask the question, the user gets an editor they can work with, and you can ask for the answer to be in a specific 
uh, programming language if you want to, if you happen to be teaching um, a certain computer in a com certain computer language. Uh, the next question is the upload question type. You can see here we gave this one more points. Um, so this question counts more towards the grade than the other ones. And you can see here where the, uh, the essay question has is 40% of the grade at 10 points. So uh, this is the upload question type. Uh, so upload a picture of you in the yoga pose for form inspection. And we, we did restrict it to JPEGs and PNG images, but you could do all these different um, file types here uh, if you want to, or you could just leave it open and uh, collect it, you know, collect whatever they send up your way. So that is the upload question type. Uh, and this is the scale. On a scale from 1 to 10, how, how are your results? So if we open that question up, um, you can provide a minimum value, like on a scale of 1 to 10, you could do 1 to 20, 1 to 3, 1 to 5. Uh, you can label what the lowest number means, and you can, um, this should say maximum, uh, but this, we'll, we'll get that switched out, but this, you can also put a label on what the highest number means. And uh, you also notice we gave this question a weight of zero, which means we are collecting information, but this, this question isn't going to count against um, the student's grade. So this is kind of a secret feature inside advanced quizzes where you also have a survey or assessment tool. And uh, here is that last question, uh, which we hadn't finished filling out or whatever. So what color is the sky? This is just another multiple choice question. And if we want to keep going, we could, uh, you know, add more quiz questions and keep building out our quiz. But that is a quick tour of the Lifter LMS advanced quizzes. Those are the question types. Have a great day.